Ladavin by Marie Ndiaye. She was Malinka again the moment she got on the train, and she found it neither a pleasure nor a burden, having long since stopped noticing. But it happened, she could tell, for no more she could answer without a second thought to Clarice, when rarely someone she knew took that same train and called to her, greeted her as Clarice, only to see her stare back in a puzzled surprise, a hesitant smile on her lips, creating a mutual discomfort that the slightly flustered Clarice never thought to dispel by simply echoing that, hello, that how are you, as offhandedly as she could. It was this, her inability to answer to Clarice, that told her she was Malinka the moment she got on the train to Bordeaux. Had that been the name she was hailed by, she knew she would immediately turn her head. Had someone spotted her face or recognized from afar her slender form, her always slightly unsteady walk, and called out, Hey there, Malinka, hello, 